Welcome to Gujarat International Financial Tech City or GIF City which is considered as one of the major infrastructure development projects in Gujarat. A joint venture between the Gujarat government and ILNFS, GIF City promises to be India's first smart city and the only international financial service center hosting Indian and multinational financial conglomerates and stock exchanges along with commercial and residential spaces. However, only a few buildings can be seen in Gift City, but that is not the only problem that this particular infrastructure project faces. Gift's own latest figure of how much development right they have sold is 16 million square feet. They have been generally selling the uh, space at 5,000 rupees per square foot. And uh, that would mean 8,000 crores of revenues. Uh, on that 8,000 crore revenues, I anticipate at least 25% and that's a very low figure, would be land related profit. That's 2,000 crores, which they have not yet paid. This company uh, turned out to be uh, a very small company with no real experience uh, in uh, such a global city development um, run by very few people and uh, at one meeting I found out that uh, all they had was a small office given to them by ILNFS in uh, Delhi Noida toll gate. Right from the first year onwards I asked uh, how come this contract is given to them for architectural and engineering services for the entire city development. That's a major contract and that could have meant anywhere between 12 to 1500 crores of rupees in fees. Obviously it required a certain process, things like competitive bidding process and all that. Turns out no such thing was done. PIL we have pointed out is that both these contracts are ultra virus because they are in violation of Gujarat Industrial uh, Gujarat Infrastructure Development uh, Act and of course given without due process. The worst was this meeting where I recommended all these uh, you know uh, basic uh, suggestions. Um, to improve the governance and get the financials in shape. Uh, those minutes of that meeting were doctored. And the company secretary kept coming up with a version that obviously he had uh, dictated from uh, Island Affairs, supported by unfortunately government uh, appointed chairman. which is why they have been avoiding the CAG and the RTI Act. This also was questioned by me right when I was in the board and I insisted that this is not right, to which they came up with an opinion that in this case that doesn't apply.
and one way it it would be covered up is by taking over the gift project from ILNFS to the government, which by itself is the correct thing. I support that that it should be a government project because ILNFS name is a hindrance and all their irregularities should be corrected.